Hi guys, just a quickie today, because I just had the argument with someone who didn't quite understand what I was talking about, because I get asked quite frequently actually, why I refer to texts which are Islamic yet are dated as pre-Islamic. So I thought I'd quickly show an example. Now in Islamic texts, there's no explanation whatsoever as to, for example, what or who Allah, the, the, the God of Islam is, it is assumed that everyone knows this is a God. So people must have known well before the Quran came around about the nature of Allah. The same goes for many names and concepts in the Quran. But this could be, well, you know, circumstantial or anecdotal or whatever. What about some real hard evidence like an entire sentence, such as sentence one in chapter one of the Quran itself? Well, the Berlin Academy of Sciences in the Corpus Quranicum has a function which allows you to search for texts and their context. In addition to that, they, they also show the readings, the Kirat, as defined in the 10th century, as well as various representations in print or writing with a detailed analysis on like how many different people wrote this and, and when. You know, they, they do a, a analysis of, of, of the text itself. You can just, you can see this here quite nicely. So, if you now go to their uh, Corpus Quranicum and you enter chapter one, sentence one, you get the Arabic as, as well as, you know, a translation in the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate. Now, what you do is, is now search for the context. And you, you'll find, for example, that a Sir Ernest Alfred Thompson Wallace Budge, an Islam scholar and Egyptologist who died just as Hitler rose to power, wrote a book called The History of the Blessed Virgin Mary and the History of the Likeness of Christ, which the Jews of Tiberias made to mock at, like, you know, that, that this is Syriac text edited with English translations. And on page 181, you'll find a text which says, they prayed to God and said, O oh, God, who desirest the lives of the children of men, and who art merciful and compassionate, and long-suffering and abandoned in grace and truth, hearken unto our prayer, and make straight our way. So the Syriac, Mrahmana va Mrahpana, the merciful, the compassionate, used in this prayer is almost identical to the later Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, used in the Arabic Quran. The prayer also begs for help and guidance finding the straight path, both well-known concepts in Islam. So he writes, about this time and during the 5th century, the history of the Virgin and the Child must have been very widely known and read, because the, um, the apocryphal book called Transitus, i.e. Assumptio Sanctae Marie, was condemned together with several other apocryphal works by Bishop Galasius and the Council in Rome in 494 CE. So here's, here's the original text, in, in case you're wondering. So, in, in my eyes, this shows that many of the Quranic texts were based on the earlier religious scriptures floating around the region, long before the Sunnah later slaps a date of, you know, like around 610 CE, and then carrying on later for 23 years or whatever um, on, on these texts. So if you want to take a look, here's the, um, the link, and just go crazy and see where the various... Uh, parts of the Quran have been found previously. Thanks for your time.